Sorry about that. OBS was being very weird and wouldn't let me unmute. Hello. Hello, everyone. Let me get comfy. Let me get nice and comfy. Except I'll have to get up. Also, my eye tracking's not going to work because I have glasses on because it's late and I'm tired. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Piff. Hi, Cameron. Hello, everyone out there. Welcome to an impromptu stream. It was so impromptu. I didn't even, like, ask if people wanted to see it. <laughs> just, I just did it. Uh, I got a... We'll just we'll just call it an EverDrive. We we got an EverDrive. It came in from 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 the Ali AliExpress, the Choo Choo AliExpress Choo Choo, and um, <laughs> look, I love Cricks. I just I don't have I don't have two hundred fifty dollars for an EverDrive right now. <laughs> I love you, man. With that out of the way, um, I've just been playing around with it, um, organizing things. I think I got it working pretty nicely. Like, I actually can go in here and, like, all right, so here's the thing. I, I hear these rare games are problematic, so we're probably not going to touch any rare game, which is not a bad thing, because um, you could just play them on, like, Xbox or something. Um, outside of that, I think we could play pretty much anything. Okay, this is how this works. Uh, but yeah, we can, like, we can go look at a game, and we can actually load up, like, box art. I got that set up. It's fancy. Um, it does bog the menu down a bit. So what, is, what do people want to see? What's, oh, this Deadly Arts is like a fighting game, right? So we have, we have all of the US ROMs and all the Japanese ROMs. Hanafuda? You guys want to see Hanafuda? Airborder 64 is one of those releases that only got Japanese and um, PAL release. Yeah, if we want to play a rare game, you want to play Baku Bomberman? Alright, so Baku Bomberman is Bomberman 64, is what we know as Bomberman 64, and Baku Bomberman 2 is what we know as Bomberman 64 Part 2. However, there is one more Bomberman 64. <laughs> it's just it's just called Bomberman 64, I think it came out in like oh, 2001 or something, super late. And it has like the the PS2 era of Bomberman designs, and I I like to call it cursed. Yeah, two custom robos, isn't that great? Uh, dual heroes, extreme G's. We can play whatever you want. Hor Hoshi no Kirby sixty four. I love Hoshi no Kirby. Hamster Monogatari. Sure, I'll try it. Oh, that means I can start playing the Gombari Goemon games, because I have all, like, the translations, but I haven't been able to play the N64 games. Did you guys know that N64 collecting is stupid expensive? Now you know. <laughs> now, you, now you can play John Romero's Daikatana. I mean, King of the Hill 64. This is a real game. It's called King of the Hill 64 Extreme Snowboarding. Anyway, I want to... Pikachu Genki Dechu. That's a that's a great name for a video game. <laughs> there was like a helicopter game that looked really cool that Mr. Radon was playing. And I already forgot what it was called. Let me look it up. <laughs> I want to boot into that. And I just want to see how it feels. Let's see. It was made by Seta Corp. Seta Corporation. Makers of Morita Shogi. And Wizard of Oz on the Super Nintendo. Chopper attack. That makes sense. I'd call my helicopter game Chopper Attack. <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to that. I want to play some Chopper Attack. Oh yeah, it's going to be like analog noise because the N64 be like that. 
This is published by Midway in the America. In the America. I don't have our own pack right now. We'll have to come back to that. I actually do have a rumble pack, uh, but the battery pack, the battery, it is a third party bumble pack. It's nice because it lets you have a memory, uh, a memory pack inside with a rumble pack and it just has like a switch. But uh, I don't, I need a 3D print, the thing that holds the batteries or something. What is this chopper attack? I'm also using the, the Retro Fighters Brawler. Had. All right, I need you guys to tell me who we're who we're gonna be. We've got Mike, age 24. He's American, equally balanced with speed and armor plating. We got Alicia, age 29, French, good aerodynamics, featuring excellent field of vision. Then we have Jun, from Japan, great acceleration and acrobatic capability. Then we got this guy, Hiro Mitsu from America, <laughs> age 25. He's like, <laughs> hey, Muir, at least she's got good aerodynamics. Dang. Uh, this guy reminds me of Mr. Slam. Is that his name from like Twisted Metal? He's just like a dude, this wide chinned mother <laughs> dude with glasses. And Jin is just like, I'm Liu Kang, look at me. Andy, coming from uh, England or Britain. Look at him. He's got a baby chopper. He's equally balanced somehow. Danny with the big boy, age 54, from America. Endurance class and ultra strengthened. With a whale. And then we got Emma and the Fire Cat. Swift flying featuring twin Vulcans. She's just 22. Might be a trace picture of Britney Spears. You can't you can't tell. It's it's impossible to tell. Cannot confirm or deny. Um, <laughs> and that's our cast. These all might be traced pictures. Oh Johnny, sorry. There were two Americans at the beginning. Johnny's age 32, he has high velocity, weakened armor plating. So what are you guys thinking? We got Sky Turbo, the Kalinski. Did I say France? I'm don't mind me. Where is that? I I am so bad with frat flags right now. You don't even ask. Don't even ask me. It's Russian, right? <laughs> uh the Gaga. He's low velocity. He has lots of Vulcan strength. Jun's got great acceleration and acrobatic capability, which kind of sounds neat. Who are we gonna be? Who are we gonna be? I want I want someone to shout it out. Shout out your favorite. <laughs> the whale. It's so big. I wonder if I should turn on my eye auto blinking. Let me go do that while you guys decide. How do I do that? <laughs> I gotta hit the space bar. You might see settings? I don't know. No, you won't. Okay. Auto blink. Alright, we got we got a June. Someone wants to see that ex great acceleration and acrobatic capability. We've been informed that an aircraft carrying POWs up. It's time to go ahead with the rescue strategy we've planned. It just goes on so. First, it's up to you to completely destroy all radar installations in the enemy area. Rah! Rah! We're going to party tonight. <laughs> Damn right, we're going to party tonight. Let's go. So we got some radar targets that we got to destroy. This game might have some hot jams, like... Um... So we probably want a bunch of these, right? How do I get them? Okay.
And we probably want some air to air, just in case. Line rocket. Cluster bomb. Let's try this. I don't know what kind of game this is, like it's gonna bust my balls or not. Okay, uh, Z shoots. R is our missiles. Oh, the C buttons move, like, forward and back. And then... Okay, so A changes your weapon, A and B changes your weapon. This is weird, there's like no actual height. Oh god! Who shot that? Is it you? I know it's not you. It's so fidgety, aiming this. I know I can do shit like this. Oh, yeah, I have a mini map. That's good. So, you know. Oh god, oh god. Missile, please. There you go. See, I think you can save hostages just like a choplifter. Oh god. Man, music. Let me know if the music's too loud. I wish I could lock onto these. Oh, shred it. Take that. Oh, God. How dare you? Get, get your ass back here. <laughs> oh, he's crafty. And it's super useful. I don't know what you're talking about. I just like how you go over things. Oh, this kind of looks like radar. It does look like it's just for planes, but you know, like landing. I get score for this, so you know. Could even be bl Blumbo. We're on the N64. A real honest to god N64. Just like when we played Bomberman. I don't know why I'm. Well, it's score. I need that satisfying score. Goodbye, missile. So you move with the C buttons. It's very interesting. Hey. You get a stealth bomber? What are you doing here? 
I know, but I want your ass. He's very fast. I'm gonna assume I killed him. <laughs> Get back to the, the job at hand. Yeah, the reticle could be better. Oh, we have fuel. Oh, hi. Gotta get a move on. It's really weird because I have to like take my hands off the Z and R on this control scheme to get to the A and B. Well, I mean, they're there. I just I have to take them off the C buttons, I guess. Skidish. So I stopped moving. Oh. Oh, these are heli spots. I probably need. But those red dots look like they're moving. Yeah, those can't be the targets. Are they show up on my radar? Or that's just the helipads? I think it's just the helipads and enemies. No, don't do this to me. I don't know where I'm going. I'm drunk. I don't think I can land on helipads. Like, these are the enemies' helipad. I don't know what you are. Plumba, what do you like about the N64? Yeah, the white dots are just a helipad. I will try landing, because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> you like the blurriness? Me too. Okay, can I land? I don't think I can land. Oh, you got right-handed and left-handed. Continue! Well, we messed this up by not realizing we had fuel early on. Is this dead? I guess so. And also thinking that the dots um, were anything. Nope, target appeared. Nope, that's. Oh god! <laughs> we ran out of fuel. <laughs> oh yeah, this screen. Just a giant floating thumbs up, a low poly blow, blow, <laughs> thumbs up. Maybe I should take some of these, I don't know, for funsies. Never owned an N64, but all my friends had one when I was in elementary school. Um, I had a similar situation where I didn't have an N64 until post Smash Brothers. There you are. Because I had to get one because Smash Brothers happened. And I needed to play that video game. But like, my friends had Mario Kart and Diddy Kong and Bomberman and 
GoldenEye, and, you know, I played those games. I just, and maybe I'm not as, like, obsessed with them as some other N64 heads. I never got to play Blast Core, though. My cheating finger got tired. I want to kill you without using another missile. <laughs> Skadoosh. Yeah, I'd like some Blast Core. That game looks neat. I think I'd probably play it on Xbox. In which case, I would just borrow someone's Xbox. Because, so we have a bunch of them just floating around, I think. The crew. I don't feel that agile. <laughs> that shoots missiles. I'm like trying to find more controls. Oh, this is a red dot. Ow! Where'd you go? Sorry, I was, in, I was just watching the missile. <laughs> the missile's being amazing. Oh, hold on. Oh, how did I... I thought I had these. Did I just say Dame? I have like a worm's weapon. Oh god. Don't fly directly at the tank. Hey, Cluster Bomb kind of sucks. <laughs> oh god. What's your ideal N64 experience? I think I need those. I just have to find these radars. I mean, there's a red dot over here, which might mean that there's a... Oh, maybe you're a mobile radar. Now that I'm looking at you. They're very hard to hit. Like, even my missiles are just like, yeah, I don't know about it. Did that count? Oh, it did. Okay. So I should be going after those. Your ideal experience is not using a 64 controller. Okay. That's pretty fair. I've got a brawler pad. Which is okay. Nope. Get his ass. No, don't, don't do this to me. Don't be like, you're leaving the battlefield. And then the enemy gets to go behind that line. Like, I hate that shit. No, don't do that to me either. Ow. One more. Climb this mountain. Zip. Please, 
This game seems all right. <laughs> could I rescue POWs in that map? I guess I could have. Get paid. Aw, oh, I'm sad. Let's not save. Let's uh, let's move on to the next game. So I do have to get up off my chair and go reset an N64 every now and then. Uh, Piff, what did you want to see? You want to see King of the Hill for uh, Japanese N64? Let's see what King of the Hill can bring to the N64. Oh, it's Kemco. Did this come out in America as a different game? King Hill. No music. Propane powered snowboarding. No music. That's weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's just King Hill. Actually, let's look at the options, because maybe I'll have controls. Um, no. But we can have kilometers or miles per hour, so... I must... Okay, there's music. Just they forgot to put it on the main screen, that's all. Oh, is this a game that came out? Oh, you're let down? <laughs> what did you think? What? That was the joke. Y'all... Wait, why is this guy... I don't know what these stats mean. Wait? Agility? The s s skiing. Oh, this guy's beard is so bad. He's, they didn't even model it. They're like, this is too bad. We're not modeling it. Are all his stats like way better than the default guy? One, two, three, four, five. Except for like one of them. Like each other stat is up by two. It's just the one stat is down by one. So that makes him like way better than the other guy, right? This guy, too. I don't even know if you want these stats. I don't know. <laughs> the stats seem weird. I'll take the Moai. Oh, wait, what's the cat look like? Oh, no, we gotta go with the cat. Wait, that cat looks like the logo from, like, um... They make, like, uh, Go and Shogi games, I think. Yeah, give me the random Three, BMG. Alright, what do we got to work with? A? Okay. Tail poke. Oh god. Cannot turn. C buttons? Alright, camera. So the N64 had some snowboarding games, right? Or at least it had two in America. A 1080 and then one other game. And then the PS1 had Cool Borders. It was like the time that, hey, we can start making snowboard games. Palmer Air. Oh god. Oh yeah, and Snowboard Kids. We cannot forget Snowboard Kids. Summer Kids is almost, well, it is the kart racer and not a snowboarding game per se, but it's got tr tricks. Oh. I will say the feel of this. I don't feel like I'm snowboarding. I feel like I'm just zooming. Oh, that's the end. Oh, that's the checkpoint. Nope, that's the end. Way to lose, loser. That's me. 
That's me. Oh, the slap bass came out of nowhere. No, bring back the slap bass. This guitar riff sucks, though. <laughs> that was Funky Town, apparently. Play Buck Bumble? Someone's already doing that right now. Three, two, one, go! Someone's probably doing that at this moment. Because last I checked, Radon was still working on that game. So you either hold a button and uh, like tweak it with the analog stick. It's pretty intuitive, I guess. Not like uh, 1080p's like fighting game inputs. Z and R don't seem to do anything outside of the air. Oh. Why are you guys bullying King of the Hill? Also, I don't know what score does in this mode. Cause it's not like it's SSX where there's boosts. Stiffy. Nice landing. I had a nice landing on my Stiffy. Was that a UFO? Cool. I'm not a loser now, huh? All this music sucks. And we as the edgy ass. Okay, where was that? Apparently, this is Funky Town. Ain't no funky town I've been to. Three, two, one, go! I want to do another stiffy. I don't know if snowboarding games are for me. Like, I tried playing uh, 1080. 1080p snowboarding HD edition. That's and um, I like SSX, but like a lot of these snowboarding games are trick or not trick, but uh, but racing, you know. Cool borders, this SSX, they're all racing. At least SSX was like, you're gonna grind rails and d d d do cool shit. And the Run DMC is gonna play. I don't even know where first place went. I feel like first place went out of bounds and then left the video game. There's no mini map. Unless I disabled that somehow. No. Tweak. I don't know how to do spins. Which is kind of like the big 1080 thing. Oh, you, you jerk. No. No. You came in second <laughs> I was trying to block him. We lost. Game over. I assume it says insert your uh, controller pack to save. Oh, that was boring. <laughs> Plombo, what's the next? What's the next game? Everyone else has had the pick. Someone wastes their pick on King Hill. Yeah, I can go in any folder. I got US. Japan! There's a game that apparently doesn't work with emulation. Knife Edge Nose Gunner? I, I have seen that. I think that's uh, in the Japanese folder. I'll, I'll double check. Yeah. Knife Edge Nose Gunner. Let me know if it's a Japanese only game or not. Oh, it's also Chemco. You tricked me. What the 
hell is this title screen? <laughs> what is this PowerPoint? Released everywhere. Well, we're playing the Japanese version. I don't know. Because that's what I picked. This main menu, not responsive. Special bomb. Special weapon. C dodges. R and B special weapon select. R is cursor center. Vulcans are on Z. This is type A response normal. And it can, looks like we can... Whoop. Please play in your rumble pack. Yeah, story, team, battle, and practice mode. I really like the single player, um, that they have like a texture issue. Yeah, normal, that's fine. Stage one. Okay, maybe we should have. All right, hold on, we're gonna go back to the US version. <laughs> In case, in case it has actual, like, objectives to do. Knife Edge. Knife Edge. You gotta find the mythical three arm, like, three hand game. Stage one, Amethyst Ravine. I feel like it didn't have a big thing to tell me. What the fuck are we doing? I guess I'll I'll check out Path A first. If you just use the rumble oh maybe it's the rumble pack message before. Knife edge to the command. Approaching target zone, Zulu 310, now transmitting geographic data. Roger, knife edge. Geo data transfer complete. You are now in hostile territory. Initiate full battle status. Affirmative CO. I have multiple bogeys dead ahead. Should I use manual flight controls? Negative, knife edge. Remote autopilot mode active. You let us fly this tin can, Samson, and you can concentrate on shooting down them bogeys. Use your on-screen heads-up display cursor to target enemies and fire at will. Is this is this Panzer Dragoon? I look at, I feel like I'm gonna Oh oh it's a cursor shooter. What? Oh my god, it's like... Yeah, an R recenters your, your, your cursor. Also, it's the squirreliest cursor. Oh, we still got... Uh, yeah, we can dodge. You have Vulcan level 2! Uh, ah, ah! You have a shield. And it looks like I'm building up a bomb. This is also one of those N64 games that are like kind of leatherboxed. To like, try to get some speed out of the system. <laughs> I guess it's the closest. You have shield. It's like the closest to say, um. Uh, was it New York, uh. LA Machine Guns and New York Gunblade? That's what it kind of reminds me of, like, floating around and shit. I didn't think they made games that were like this on the N64. So one thing I don't like about my, um... The brawler is that the Z buttons, they're kind of squishy. And I know that's something you could mod on the first brawlers, and that the new brawlers come with, um, like, tactile Z buttons, with, like, a really satisfying click. Uh, for now, they're kind of squishy, and you have to push really far. I don't know. I don't like the Z trigger.
Can I just do that whenever I want? It looks like I can. Looks like I only get one at a time. Maybe as I fill those things at the bottom, I'll get more. It's so weird. This reminds me a lot of the... You ever see the... Uh, the Philips Laser Active games? There are a lot of games that look like this. I guess they also got ported to like the 3DO in Japan. So I ended up downloading a bunch of them when I downloaded... Uh, 3DO games. I mean, went to the warehouse. Remember to use your thrusters to evade incoming fire, Knife Edge. Knife Edge, he's directly above you! It's him. Oh. I used my bomb. Oh. How was I locking on before? What the? I don't know if I have those weapons. <laughs> Maybe I lost my lock on because I used my super bomb. It'd be nice if this guy did something. He's like, oh, you talking shit. Look at me, I'm gonna rotate in 3D space. What are you gonna do about it? Uh, nothing. I can't seem to find any spot that you're weak on. <laughs> now you have to try a different weapon. Oh, there's your health bar. Oh, okay, I gotta shoot those. I got a little laser sword. I got a little laser wing. Oh, jeez. How can I dodge? I don't even know where I am in 3D space. This is a weird game. This doesn't emulate, like, at all? That's so weird. Oh my god, camera. Like, I, I don't emulate N64. I haven't done that in a long time. I guess I, the last time I did was Castlevania 64. This is a weird one. I'll, I'll say that. Well done, Knife Edge. We've received some valuable tactical data based on analysis of this firefight. What do we know, CO? All we know is that the enemy is definitely inhuman and relentless. We are receiving the signal beacon emanating from an underground source at... <coughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I coordinated Zulu some numbers. <laughs> Roger, CEO. Oh, I'm sorry. My Vulcan was level 4. I think I defeated 61% enemies, but I got hit 18% of the time. I guess. So you got, like, different routes? Look how silly this is. They're like, it's never the same game twice. The routes go all the way to R on this one. <laughs> yeah, I like a little, I like N. Let's go with N. Can you locate the colony entrance? Roger, there's a hole in the center crater. Scanners have picked up a faint signal beacon emanating from within the colony. There may be survivors, but you're still in hostile territory. Remain in full battle alert status. Roger, CO. I'm going into full battle mode. All si our systems active, Knife Edge. Roger. Oh god, the game like sped up. All systems ready. 
now there's robots. This is totally just like um at, at New York Gunblade. Oh, if you pick up shields while you have full shields, you get Mondo points. Big puntos. Level 5, Vulcan. I feel like that guy dropped something. I'll never know. Then get on them. Get on them, they wanted that arcade money, I guess. It's, it's a little different. You got a dodge button. You tried it in Bizhawk. Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, there was a shield I could have picked up. Tried it in Bizhawk with the Moopin 64 core. It works, but it's way too fast and lots of graphical issues. Huh. You have shield knife edge. Has Radon played this? Ah, uh, okay. Why, why is this truck going off the edge? Oh, he's in the. There's a stadium. Okay. Is the stadium underground? <laughs> we were just at street level. I didn't understand. I was locking on before, and I don't seem to be able to do that anymore. We're at the uh, Duke Nukem football field. I'm gonna shoot this orb. This is so weird. Oh god. I think I. I don't know. Uh. -uh. It's really sensitive. I feel like that's every N64 aiming. Did I win? I've got the beacon on signal lock at five clicks dead ahead. What's the source? It's transmitted from the archaeological research group dormitories. <laughs> I'm receiving signs of human life. I'm going in for evac. I, I keep changing that guy's voice. <laughs> Don't let me get away with that. Call me out. Ow. I want my shield. Do you have to get a uh, score? Hey, is 100 percenting this game having to go through every path? <laughs> oh, you can shoot the water and it ripples. It's, it's cute. The Star Fox did it, but you know, I don't expect Chemco to do that. How do I lock on? There it goes. I wonder if there's better paths for score. Satisfying score. Who knew score could be satisfying on the N64? The signal is from the structure ahead. Roger. <laughs> Somebody, please help me. I hear the sound of aircraft. I'm here. I'm here. Help me. It'd be great if this game turned into something on foot. Hang on. I'm here to help you. Are you hurt? I'm a little shaken up, but okay. I'll break the window to get you out. What should I do? Step back. Jump on board now. It's too high. I can't do it. I'll move closer. Just do it. Oh, we don't get to see it. <laughs> That's what she looks like. I'm safe. Thank you. 
This is Knife Edge reporting a successful evacuation. <laughs> Excellent. You got enemies right on you. Pull out immediately. Roger, CO. I hope we get the keeper. Yeah, so I guess those green things are how many like lock-ons I get, but they're also are super bombs, so we can either use them for a super bomb, but then we don't have the lock-on anymore. Ah! This game should be cool in VR. Oh! 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 You gotta use your three-dimensional dodging. It's not even a boss. This just exists. Ah. Oh, I shot that. Oh, no, I guess I did shoot it. I didn't take damage. It just didn't look like I shot it. Oh, we got a lot coming in. These missiles will hit. <laughs> the timing's so weird. Whoa! I love the way everything animates. It's so stupid. <laughs> I was trying to dodge, but I guess... Oh. This is a Star Fox bo draw boss that got drunk one night. <laughs> Doesn't know what he's doing. Andros, look at me! I, guess I got sick donuts in this. <laughs> Uncle Andros! Oh my god, the frame rate. <laughs> I rescue survivor. An archaeologist named Dr. Something. She's weak, but she'll be alright. Good job, Knife Edge. I'm at a vac unit. will arrive soon. Transfer links to them and head to the next position. Alright. That one we did a lot better. Also, we're at Max Vulcan, which I guess is why it was giving score at that point. So yeah, you gotta get Vulcan as fast as you can, and then you gotta keep your shields at 100%, and that gives you the most points. And do, I'm gonna record like a VHS tape on tips. How to beat Knife Edge. Look, look how many different permutations this level, these levels have. Now I do see the stage 3 glitching out on my end. But I wonder if they did that on purpose to make it look like a, a cool, like, I don't know, some video effect. It's not doing it now. There it does. This game feels like it's barely held together. <laughs> like, from the, the leathers, not... Like, the leather textures not being uh, correct, it looks like. All right, let me do a, let me, let me switch games. You know, not bad. That one, that one, not bad. I kind of just wanted to get a little bit of the N64 out of my system. And we haven't been streaming a lot this week. Uh, I don't normally stream at night, so. I think a lot of my, my viewership is just, they're, they're asleep. They're tucked in. All, all the Lumias out there. <laughs> so I think Plombo left, so can't ask him. 
So I'm just going to go through and give you my opinions of N64 games or what I think of them or like what I've heard. So I've played Tiny Snowboarding. I think its control scheme is really weird and how you do tricks. Uh, I would like to come back to it. The world is not enough. I always hear bad things, but I, I don't know how much of it is like, oh, this isn't Goldeneye. I'm, I'm only going to look at like. Arrow Fighters is the part of the Arrow Fire series and has that dolphin. <laughs> it's cool. That's cool. Uh, Sarge's Heroes. I played one of these. It's a third person shooter with some cover in it. Play Arrow Fire. <laughs> This is so many ships. So many ships. What is this game called? Arrow Fighters something? Oh, it's got the little crawly dots in the overscan. It also doesn't use the left pillar. Also, that was loud as hell. The Saul. Return to the slap base. Main game, practice, deathmatch, boss attack, options. Pachoo! Flight, normal or novice, stereo. Data. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for that picture. Uh, Hawk, he has a Tomcat. Glenda with the Thunderbolt. And Sass with the raid. Let me do the shout out thing. While the slap bass happens. What are you all up to, Raiders? Welcome. I kind of know what you're all up to, but you know. You can tell me. <laughs> I know your secrets. <laughs> Horror Flash. Oh, did you get the phone games? Uh, the FSX with Hein. He's the ninja, right? Turn the older games. Volk. With the super flanker. Oh no, there's no dolphin. You gotta unlock the dolphin? This is bullshit. Didn't want to play a remake of both RE1 and RE2 for your phone? I did. I, I played RE2 on the GameCom, so why not? <laughs> Let's try the Hein. I remember he drew, like, Kanai. It's the tiniest Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo for ants. Hello, Yaddle. Welcome. Ninja Beam? <laughs> I don't know how this plays. I keep getting trapped. I, I keep getting stuck with these uh, plane games. Everyone wants to see the flying and slap bass. Everyone wants to hear slap bass. All right, yep, that's Tokyo. Confirm mission objective. A thermal bomb is detonated in the South Pole, causing Tokyo to flood. The secret fact uh, factory is located beneath the Metropolitan Government Building. It must be protected. Your mission, defend the Metropolitan Building. Enemy force, heavy armored, walker, blah, 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 blah. Top secret, fly low when approaching the Super X. To avoid the top mounted weapons, you will see less fire. Your mission time, 15 minutes. So yeah, they made... <laughs> no, no, no pilot wings. They made, uh... They made arrow fighters into, like... A flying Your game. Time is 900 seconds. Oh my god, look at this UI. And this frame rate. Okay, that does that. Bandit sighted, 11 o'clock. Range, 6,000. Elevation. Oh my god. This N64 is gonna throw up. Okay, I think I found break. But... 
Can't find them. Oh, this is... This doesn't play very good. <laughs> That's our dudes, right? Okay, I can do that. Oh, that's Ninja Beam. Sorry. It's missiles. Okay. How do I go fast? Okay. There we go. We're doing it. Oh, he lost me. No, someone's targeting me. I'm in hot. Can I do barrel rolls? Now I have no idea where I'm pointed at. <laughs> what am I pointed at? Where's the floor? <laughs> Where's the JPEG? Oh, it's like <laughs> Glenda, wingman engaged. Oh, see down there you go fast. Ah. I haven't hit anything. Does it have, um... Uh, I think the Aero Fighter games usually have, like, a monkey stage? Is this something? Hey. Oh, uh, no! Pull up! Can I get locked? I mean... I'm in hot. Oh, this... I don't like how this controls. <laughs> Aero fighters are weird because, uh, or maybe it's 1942 or 1941 strikers uh, that has the monkey stages. Oh, this guy is toast. Gnarly. So the striker series is made by people that made the the Aero fighter games, and then they left and made more Aero fighter games. Man, it's Tokyo Tower. I'll go over here and help my burrows. You remember an ice cave? I mean, this is probably better than Warhawk. I keep hitting that button. I don't think it's like... doing what I think it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> I'm like just trying to find some homing missiles or something. <laughs> I hear the lock-on beep and I just shoot the missiles and then like nothing happens. Where is this guy? It says he's low. Now he's above. Uh, remember when the HUDs didn't have those like little lines to indicate height? I'm just gonna head towards the the big thing on the map. Those were done, yeah. SU thirty five, Volk, scratch one. Good job, Volk. Ah. Yeah, that's like a giant mech walker spider thing. That's kind of cool. I still don't know if I can go fast or...
Did I do it? <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. It's so squirrely. <laughs> you guys big fans of the N64? Oh, duh. Those that came in with sass. Right now I'm just trying random stuff to see if it works. Can I go between your legs? Cool. Ugh. Nope. I feel like by the time I get lock on, <laughs> things are already gone. I should just shoot things. Oh god, oh god, get out of there. Get out of there. These are not my kind of games. I'm so bad at them. That's why I just want to play in first person. <laughs> I couldn't find it. How do you know where you're going if you're not in first person? <laughs> that was a noise. There, I gave him some ninja beam. Someone's on my tail shooting me. I wish they would stop. Also kind of lost track of, uh, the big boy. Oh, there you are. Ah! There you go, you just, you just gotta give it the ninja beam a few times. Mission accomplished! It's, uh, it's a Star Wars, or... Rogue, Rogue Squadron, or Rogue Leader, or Star Fox, or Star Wing. Look, I got, I got, I got one star. The game was like, you did bad. You bad, and you should know that you did bad. Confirm mission objective. The enemy flea has attacked many of the cities and harbors along the Pacific coast without provocation. Your mission, destroy the enemy fleet. Enemy forces are battleships, leviathans, uh, leviathan four fighter aircraft, unknown number of subs and frigates. Leviathan has the capability to submerge. An E to C is in the area, giving the enemy air command and control support. So we got these guys, we got the leviathan. All right, that's what I should be looking for is a little radar guy. Good luck. Maybe I, <laughs> I've never played these. Watch out. Oh, there he is. He's majestic. Should I give him the ninja beam? I just decided to melt your health bar. Oh god, no. <laughs> I couldn't pull up. It just like it just barreled out. Oh, okay. Game continues for me. Uh let's see, I'm very high. Ugh. 
Yeah, I don't know. Left and right seem really finicky. I'm just not used to N64 analog. Because one thing I learned about N64 analog is they're like, we're going to use every value of this analog stick. And you're going to like it. And then I already feel like the, the brawler pad that I have is also a little sensitive. Like, I'm just trying to turn. There's a frigate. Ah! Oh god, oh good, oh the Jesus. Stop it, stop. Oh jeez. Dude! Help, man! Oh, God. <laughs> They've been melted. Greninja's gone. I guess when I crashed in the ocean, it didn't count as a credit. God, this music. Ah, these are sturdy. SU thirty five Volk support wingman three o'clock range six thousand. Oh god, what did I do? I inputted something, and the game took control for me. Autopilot <laughs> engaged. I must have done. Oh, I must have left the area. Oh, we gotta give another ninja beam. Something's on my tail. Alright, you have a lot of health, Mr. Leviathan. Can I call you Mr. Leviathan? Alright, I think he submerged. Can someone tell me if see down breaks and see up boosts? It kind of sounds like it, but there's no like actual like thing telling me what my speed is. Why are these things so tanky? <laughs> Fall, please. I need. Did you just ninja beam everything? Uh... No, I mean locked on. Don't do it. C up is afterburner, C down is air brake, and then we got the yaws. Change camera is L. Oh, and D-pad. <laughs> I feel like it just deleted the plane. <laughs> That's fine. Now I can actually see. Maybe my shots are just weak. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> just take it. Like, whatever. Where's my big boy? 
He'll never believe me. I, I must. Oh. I must have ran out of ninja beams. This is planes in the way. I've got a problem. I can't shake him. Eight N. Glenda. Support wingman. Nine o'clock. Range. I'm sorry, Glenda. Elevation. One thousand. I accidentally ninja beam that. Ninja beam. Glenda, I don't even know which blue triangle you are. <laughs> you guys are all up there. Is that you? I guess it would be hard to tell when something's locked on you because it just has this weird line. Right? Is that what? Yeah, I'm gonna hit. Okay, so that is what that means. Hey, where did the Leviathan go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Jesus. Make everyone sick, though. Greninja died. Rest in peace, Greninja. Rest in peace. Why is my mouse track not working that great? Oh well. I bet every time I get up from the, the chair, the, the tracking gets all weird. <laughs> Uh, so we have disk drive games. We can play disk drive, including Dutch of the Go. I didn't even know they had a disk drive release. It is translated. I think one of these you can't play. One of these Mario artists or something, but. You know, we got Doshin the Giant. And then these are arcade games. These are arcade games that use N64 hardware. And they have been um they have been altered so that they could work on a real N64. And I'm curious about this one. Because this sounds a lot like Kuro Kuro Kurovin. I haven't tried one of these yet. I need to look up the controls because I need to figure out how to insert coins and not that all that good. Alex. 64? Alright, so Alex 64 was an arcade system developed and produced by SATA and Nintendo. Well, this is something completely different than what I was expecting. Oh, it's a puzzle game? Is this a Baku Baku? No, this is, this is just match fruit. Oh, but every time you... You get a thing, it flips. Okay. C-Up is, uh, Insert Coin. I just want to look at it for a little bit. Oh, also the crap's not right. It probably runs at a higher definition. Oh, look at the sheep. He likes melons.
versus. Oh wow, the soundtrack. I love melons. Look, I did it. I did a combo. Is this penis music? That's right, you love big, just juicy watermelon. All right now, hit me on this hole. I will. What do you think of the soundtrack, Sass? This seems like something right up your alley. <laughs> So it just needs to be four touching. And then when it flips, it just has to be like three. But you need to do a combo for it to flip, or you need to get your favorite your favorite snack. Not a fan. I just like the Azumanga cat. And we'll go chomp. Can I have a melon? I don't think I'll get anything. I'll get the the strawberries. Oh no, I lost the strawberries. I just, I didn't look at the flip. Oh no, the AI's gone in. Help! This is boring. <laughs> Sorry. I like puzzle games. It's just uh. I'm not feeling this one, I don't know why. I'm trying to like set up things. There. it to just have like a melon set up ready I guess strawberries yet. And, oh, I was hoping to get another double. At least the animations are cute. Oh, you got a little flag! You won! Versus... He likes grapes. This the whole soundtrack is made of... Oh yeah, I can't pause because it's an arcade game. Oh, I got service buttons! Oh, we got, we got dip switches. Change the diagonal. Well, that's fun. <laughs> I 
I gotta be honest, I didn't even know there were arcade games based on N64 hard like hardware, so that's new to me. Yeah, Alec 64. Uh you have Don Chan, Puzzle Hanabi De Dune, Eleven Beat, Hi Pi Paradise, Kuru Kuru Fever. So the Kuru is the the spinning. I was hoping it was gonna be like a Kuru 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 Ren, which got its start in the Game Boy Advance and then got a game uh GameCube. Magical Tetris, which got an N64 release, Majin Sen 3, Star Soldier Vanishing Earth, which also got a um an N64 release, Super Real Mahjong. Uh Muir has asked what Tower and Shaft is, so we'll go look at that. And I don't know if I should look at Vivid Dolls in this stream. That that's not a title that fills me with confidence. <laughs> Unlike Tower and Shaft. Uh, oh, this is the same company, too. Aruze. Alright, let's let the attract screen. Which one's Tower and which one's Shaft? An Alec Borden adventure. Let's play! The fourth story. What's happening? Just because it's Nintendo hardware doesn't mean Nintendo, like, okayed this. This looks like a mobile game. Oh, let's put the coin in. I feel like the coin button has now changed. <laughs> it's now R. Uh, so shaft, you go down. And you just use the joystick, I guess? And then tower, you go up, and you just use the button. Vivid Dolls is an adult action puzzle game. Wow. Who could have... Who could have thought? I don't like him. So this is Tower. <laughs> I don't like her at all. Alright. It's like Jump King, if Jump King always moved. This is not penis music. Oh, I didn't want that. Or maybe I did. Maybe going slower is better. Oh. Okay, so you do have the input to jump. Okay, so you can overcharge the jump. Which makes sense. Oh, I get spring shoes. says big mobile game energy. These fall? Oh no. Okay, so the down arrow ones fall, the, the ones that look like bricks crumble. Oh. Th this part's hard. Baby jump. No. Please save me, Angel, from uh, Binding of Isaac. <laughs> it looks like I lost my Angel. I guess this is how they do lives. I wonder what the threat of the other mode is. Okay, we gotta get off that. Oh, I'm hungry. I lost my meat. Uh-oh, I didn't make that. Okay. That's rough. You gotta, like, bounce off the wall to, like, keep... 
Shit. Yeah, whenever you're presented with a situation like this... I wanted those, but... I ain't going back down. Anyone know what the meat does? I lose it sometimes. I wonder if it improves his jumping. Oh, damn. I'm trying to get a jump real quick before I run off the ledge. Oh. Damn. This is kind of addictive. Someone steal this. And put it on phone. Because it's a one button game, you know? Okay, those down platforms are not as dangerous as I thought they were going to be. Meat does make you jump higher. You're right. I'm going to lose. Oh, it's like that platform's gone. No! Oh, I missed that platform. All right, let's try the other mode. He became... He became sperm. At least he said he was sorry. You have to imagine these games run at a slightly bigger resolution than the N64, and that's why my crop is all messed up. Game over. What's up? I put another coin in the machine. I would say he's still around, right? I feel like I've seen their name. So I assume I gotta stay alive. So I wonder if falling's bad. Oh, okay. Oh jeez, okay. The platforms are very... Like, I wonder if the bottom of the platform is bad. Not the bottom of the platform, bottom of the screen. Like, it's Castlevania rules. Oh. So this uses the joystick. Oh, that was bad. I thought maybe it would do something else for some reason. I guess an umbrella's okay. It's a lot easier than the other game. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna get tough, but just controlling it, doing what I want the game to do. Except I got stuck there. Because I was like, oh, what if I just... Nope. It's time for the angel. So I have no idea if these emulate in MAME. I assume they do. I mean, MAME can do, like, Namco System 22 and stuff, so... I think. Maybe not System 22. What? No, so, what? I'm so bad at systems. What's the Namco PS1 system? Capcom also had one. I think with the current way that arcade games are nowadays, I think you could make this game with like a really tall monitor. Like they have doodle jump in arcades. And you do like a big lever or something. I think people would eat that up and get tickets. Ugh. I need to get health. I got an angel again. It's hard to get off ledges sometimes. You kind of get stuck on them. Oh, no! I must have lost my umbrella. I thought I had my umbrella. Don't tell me what Aruze is up to. Uh, 
So I feel like I've seen their name recently. Don't they do like the H? Are the is this the company that does the HD remixes of like? Not HD remix, but they do like HD port jobs now, right? Am I, am I crazy? Like then they do uh, the Zelda stuff. Or am I making that up? Oh, oh shoot. Okay, got lucky there. Probably don't want that. It's also oh, okay. We have that. Get off of it. It's like 70 floors of this. <laughs> the stream was just you watching this. Rates are weird. I never know when, um... What? I didn't catch any of those platforms. Damn, we were so close. I never know when to hit the raid button <laughs> and when to end the stream. <laughs> That's beautiful. Just me talking about shafts and towers. What is that thing? I hate it. Well, that's Shaft and Tower. That was more interesting than I thought it was going to be. I mean, yeah, it's, it's very much a mobile game type game, but like that's also like peak arcade, like simple controls, easy to understand. One button, one joystick gameplay. Uh, high score. I just don't like the... I don't like the art style. <laughs> I don't like these horrible Muppet people. Alright, uh, how about one more game? Because I'm, I'm actually kind of hungry. This was never meant to be like a full stream. Uh, Sass, do you want to pick the last game? We have the entirety of the US and Japanese and PAL exclusive games. We have the, the one single unlicensed game. We'll probably end with that. We'll end with, uh, a look at the title screen for Ronaldino Soccer. Ha 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 ha. We have Disk Drive games, Clean Sim City, and Doshin the Giant. Um, we got Hacks. I haven't even touched these yet, but we have Totsugeki. Totsugeki. Oh, I never checked if Cream worked or if Cream crashed. Hmm. I have a hack of Space Station Silicon Valley, so it, it doesn't crash when you have the HD. Do I have crazy? Oh, there is a crazy fo frog and uh, Mars 64. I don't. I'll I'll get that next time, Sass. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just grabbed a couple things. It's hell to play. Audio wise, is probably hell. Uh, prototypes, we got 40 Winks, which was finished, but never released. Um, Die Hard 64, I've never seen. Like a Dinosaur Planet. Do Sonic Edition. Okay. We'll do Sonic Edition. Whenever I see it. It's this one. Uh, 64 Land doesn't work, and I gotta delete that. It does not work on real hardware, which is a shame. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm Sonic. Hello. You're not Sonic. Get out of here. I just, I've noticed a lot of ROM hacks just skip that screen because it's it's a pain in the ass to model. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I the so this one's a pretty simple hack in that it didn't um, change. Peach or anything so far. And I think it doesn't change the levels, but it does have different physics. And maybe even different controls. I don't know. All I know is he go fast. I 
I like that Totsugeki one because it doesn't do the intro. Oh, there's a plus version? Okay, I need to go find a plus version. I must have an old version. Can I spin dash? Sick. I appreciate that he can't swim. He drowns very quickly. <laughs> there are two versions, one that only replaces Sonic and one that does a lot more model replacements. So I wonder if that version doesn't work on real hardware. I didn't get life back. That's cool. I was trying to do Lakitu skip. That's why I fell in the water. But then I don't have a long jump. I also have to, I have to find that. Pop, 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 pop. Here we go. Yeah, because right now this is just vanilla. I mean, it plays completely different. So for starters, I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. And I have a homie attack. I have a spin dash. You can kind of roll down hills. Like, I was hoping for music. Ah, oh, God, I'm too fast. Just run into everything. Can I just run up this? Cool. I guess we have almost... We have a pretty good amount of the coins. Ah. I don't actually remember where they all are. <laughs> oh, I can't punch. I got a hoo-ha-ho. -ho. Oh, I'd have to make it to the island. That's right. To get blue coin- or red coins. I wonder if Flight Cap is just, like, supersonic. Yeah, I kind of want to save this now that you told me. I also want to get, uh, I want to do it with the crew, because there's, they are, oh, Jesus. Uh, more, more into Super Mario 64 than I am. I was trying to do a side jump. I love the boss music in Super Mario 64, I don't know why. I think I just like the intro. Oh my god. Sonic, you have to calm down. Can I homie attack you? Because it looked like homie attack grabbed the bombs. Ouch. I don't know how to do that. Especially with Sonic, who's super fast. Ouch. The re-grab. I feel like I would like this game as a speed game. Oh yeah, we have to reinitiate combat. <laughs> He's just gone. Oh, let's walk around. Yep, I'm that, too fast. I can't do the regrab. Ah! <laughs> Gotta go at a reasonable pace. 
dump. <laughs> Not happening. Oh my god, he crawls slow t or fast too. Look at him. Whee! One day. Burp, 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 burp. Super Mario 64 has good sound design. Yes. Yes, yeah, so I remember. I remember when this ROM, 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 ROM hack first came out. So I didn't know there was a, a, a newer version with Eggman. We were playing a uh, Sonic Adve Adventure randomizer the other day, and I kind of want to play the Sonic Adventure 2 one again. Oh my god. There's a shadow version? Does he have a gun? Can you pull out Mario Cam? I don't remember. It doesn't look like he can. Here we go. Zoom. Wait, can I just climb this? Not too steep. No, oh, he's got it. Look at him. You have to kind of, kind of have to go down and. All right, someone teach me cannonless. Oh my god, he's too fast. You could almost make it back up this. Oh my god, momentum. What is it? What is momentum? I clipped the mic somehow, I'm sorry. Well, my homing attack didn't work. That's very true to Sonic. I gotta see if my compressor is on. It almost feels like it isn't. No, compressor's here. Might need a toy with that. One thing about my N64 is my reset button uh, doesn't work very well, and I just need to take it apart and clean it, but I'm lazy. So it takes a couple of reset tries to get the reset. Uh, let's look at... Um, what time is it? Yeah, I think we're, we're done here. Let's get some Ronaldino soccer. <laughs> I don't know how to spell Ronaldino. I'm not Brazilian. I'm a different kind of Hispanic. <laughs> also, Brazilian's not Hispanic. It's Portuguese. I need, uh, needs, um, strawberry. Ah, uh, the beautiful sport. Association football. So the funny thing about Ronaldino soccer is it's like a long-running series of hacks. They they are sold in Brazil and there it is. Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> and uh, they changed the teams and the players. I am not saving to my control pack. They changed the music, they changed the teams and players usually. Honestly, I don't know what they changed here. This is uh, Konami's soccer game. I should see Bumba Patch. Is there a Bomberman uh, Mario 64? Because I love Bomberman. I mean, we gotta play Brazil, right? We need uh, Ronaldinho. Let's keep it. What kind of condition are you in? <laughs> Tag yourself. It's a hacker group that deals exclusively with soccer games. Oh, oh my. I guess I'm in good condition. Wait. Why can you set the number of players? <laughs> can I go over to the... Yeah, I can go over to the AI side and be like... You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking you only brought seven players, which is very weird. I don't think you should do that. Updates multiple of them. Yeah, but like uneven. I could be 11 players versus seven. <laughs> Well, if you did that, you probably messed up somewhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a real soccer head, a footy head. Whee! Ah. And then they recorded their own Portuguese commentary. Ah, you're also from Brazil. Perfect. Ronaldinho Saka. Oh, that's a giant coin. Okay. Oh, that's the shoot button. There it is. That's the pass button. Oh, where's the shot? I was hitting B. Oh, I don't know. There we go! Golazo! I don't like Golazo. I like Goal! Or I like the French one, which is Boot! <laughs> nice. Good job, Ronaldo. Oh. How do I go fast? Oh, how did it pass all the way that guy? Good. Okay, good body block. Uh, that box is, this box is busy in here. Funny thing is that Brazilians and Brits love soccer, but Brazilians prefer where you focus on playing the game and Brits prefer manage simulation. I think they like both. Oh. I don't know the defensive controls. Good job, goalie. Uh, what's a good kick? Okay, that's... Uruguay. 
Yeah, I got it out of there. But I did give him a corner kick. The legend. No. Ha, body block. How do I just kick it down? Oh, that's... Okay, I was like, that's a bad pass, but... Golazo! Look at them. Doing a little dance. <laughs> now they're all doing a little dance. Oh yeah, what's that? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pronounce it because I'm. I don't have it in me. Oh, I've activated replay mode. Oh, you can matrix cam. Here's the first bounce off. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll play a, a half of this or something. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, oh, what was my guy doing? Oh, damn. No, you fool. Okay, that's Sly, apparently. Oh, goalie died. How about I hit this button? Okay, that does that. <laughs> I can't, like, change manually. Oh, that was good. I had a good attack on that. How did... Also, I feel really slow. I feel like there should be. A... What? What happened? Why didn't it change control? <laughs> that was weird. I passed without losing control. Like everyone knows how to sprint, except me. I... Yeah, get get back. Like, so I just feel slow. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? Sosa. <laughs> uh. Oh no, he's not gonna pop it, is it? Okay. I wanted to go over his head, but I guess I hit the wrong button. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I don't want to slide there. No one called me out on it. Oh. How do you pass like that? That's crazy. Like, Z doesn't seem to make me go faster. Oh, R, mate. I need some sprint. Oh. I did play Mega Man Soccer. Oh, did he do that? Okay, I guess he did that. Oh, there's stamina. Okay. Maybe a soccer is slow. I don't think I've played a realistic soccer game since till the, now. Where am I? I had control over myself before. Domina bola. Oh. Hey. Feel like I had that. 
No, I'm gone. Yeah, get out of there. Up. Oh. Hey. No, why are you aiming that way? <laughs> yeah, Mega Man Soccer is all about edging. You're right. Oh, Jesus. The hell is that? Ow. <laughs> No! They all attacked? Uh, we've just been playing random stuff. I get, I just got a N64 EverDrive type device. Uh, this is actually gonna be the last game of the evening. <laughs> yeah, we're on real hardware. So this is probably why it's so blurry. Yo, what the hell? So do I want to use the B button for this? How do I get some, like, height? Okay, that's too much. That's too much fire on that. Yeah, you probably came in from Sasa's stream? It's weird, it's like I can control this guy, but I'm not aiming. Oh, he jumped it! AI got really good! Oh god, why'd you kick it out like that? <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, Plombo. This is Ronaldino Soccer. A.K. Um, Konami International Football or whatever. I'm not very good at it. I can't. I can't defense. It's like the AI turned it up too. We're in the uh, injury time. Half time. Yeah, this would later be PES and then, um, Winnie, or I guess it would be Winnie 11 in some countries. I never understood Konami's uh, naming scheme. It's got jams. Uh, but yeah, I think I was going to wrap up, actually. Just because I, I didn't mean for this to be a full-time, big old stream. I did need one more of that, uh, the laugh. Oh, you're going to make me reset the system to get the laugh? Oh, you can create a player. I would like a uh, forward and they will be named Berserker. Like that. <laughs> oh, you have an X on your name. I can just see that. There you go. Now you're here. You're in the game. All right, which one? Which one speaks to you? I'm liking this guy. He's got a nice beard. We got Jackie Bryan over here, kinda. 
Which blurry N64 face best represents you? Oh, look at this mullet. <laughs> you like the one guy? Oh no, this guy. What happened to him? Oh no. Number one, two, three. Yeah, six is the best? Okay, I wanna look at them all though. Oh dude, this guy got the lion mane going. <laughs> I have many different kinds of bowl cut. Please enjoy all my bowl cut. You like the line main? Okay, we'll go with that. All right, well, how do you feel? What if you had 69 in every stat? That probably wouldn't be very good. <laughs> now that I'm looking at the stats, the stats are broken up. <laughs> you have a younger brother that has a line main? You're gonna be the best jumper, though. No one's ever had much as much jump as you. Uh, and you're real techie. Let's get that power up. Just slam it into there. Who needs, who needs curve? I don't even know what the TTL thing was. Yeah, you can go here. I didn't save this. Oh, we have to register you. I was hoping you get to like pick a jersey and stuff. What a scenario. Oh, that, that has like pre-made like little events that ha probably happen in real games. That you get to like relive. Second half, England versus Germany. England play in their home ground. This corner kick will show you that England is the birthplace of football. <laughs> I don't do anything. No commons. Let me reset. Because I, I didn't save. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to use up part of my memory. Because uh, that's one of those games that saves to the, the controller pack. The little memory card that goes in your controller. And there's supposed to be a way to back it up. Um, I can't get that to work. It keeps thinking I have a rumble pack. <laughs> like, can I back it up to one? Like, I don't know how this works. I don't know what the screen is. Oh, I have different sets, and then I select the leather, so I'm backing up my card to, like, A? A, 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 A? Oh, I'm naming it! Oh my god. I gotta go back. Okay. I can name this card. Well, the, the only thing that's on this is Bomberman, so I'll just put Bomb. Wherever O is. O is on the R, that's why I didn't see it. <laughs> this is uh, not intuitive. <laughs> Done. Okay, so now I now I have that? I just got this. This is like all new. Yeah, so I can format, I can... I can also look at them, right? They show up here. Or, directory on the... Well, they went somewhere. Bomb went somewhere. These are my saves. This is what I've played so far. Apparently there are cheats already in here for some games. I don't know. And then this is supposed to load like um, the anti-aliasing stuff. Oh, I love Bomberman too. Um, one of the earlier streams was Bomberman 64. So we are going to do Bomberman Hero at some point. This is part of why we got this. Uh, but let me go back to the one unlicensed N64 game so we can get that beautiful intro. This is where the Konami logo would have been. I like Mischief Makers. I'm no good at it. There's like an era of, of treasure games that I just like... I can't understand. They're just 
it's too much. My brain breaks. We're on the field with Ronaldino Soccer. So yeah, I know there's this this started on the SNES, I believe. Taking a soccer game and altering it for Brazil. And then Brazil has a crazy, like illegal game market, I will say. A, a black a gray black market. <laughs> Unless you're Sega. God, that's such a good intro. That laugh, it's so good. The One Piece is real, and it's in Brazil. <laughs> well, that's because games are stupid expensive. So I totally get it. Look, we have Baku Bomber Man, Baku Bomber Man 2, bon Banjo to Kazooie, no Daibokin. I love, I love the Japanese titles for some of these. I don't want to do that. The D-pad on this controller is not very good. This is the, the brawler controller. Oh, one game I do want to play. I'm not sure which one to play yet. Um, I want to play Chameleon Twist, which has a translation. And you might be wondering, this game came out in America, so why does it need a translation? And it's because the American version cut out like all the story. I just want to load it up real quick. And they have a great logo. Um, I don't think I'm the first game. In the second game, it, they do. I could be wrong. It's been a long time. In the second game, they actually look like, um, chameleons, I guess. I don't know what they are in this game. Maybe Linda, she looks cute. It's beautiful weather. Yeah, so you start- you are a chameleon that's been transformed. Busy, busy, busy. No time to waste. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm running late. So this is an American version, I thought, but maybe- I don't know. I don't know what's different. Maybe there's no dialogue. Why is he in such a hurry? I need to touch my N64 glowing portal. Curious young chameleon follows the rabbit. One thing is, I think my S video cable is a little noisy, so I might need to try to get a new one. This is also one of those games that has the the left side cut off. I'm gonna have to make a separate crop for that. The Phantom Theater. That's a new one to me. Oh look, the chameleon has changed shape. Hmm, I wonder where the rabbit went. Oh, I wonder how this is gonna play on this control scheme. Boop. I know you could fling yourself. Like that. What's up, rabbit? This is the jungle land, the gateway to the mysterious world. Go to the training room if you need to practice tongue and body control. One thing is this game, the camera, is intensely... Mystic Arc Maraboshi Gekkeijo is the fourth, fourth, fourth game in the Seventh Saga series, aka as the Ramil series. Okay. I got a crown. I'd like to play this sometime. I 
Oh. I still got like Croc and shit I gotta play. <laughs> For some reason I put Gex on my list. Oh, you can also, um... How do you turn with that? Okay, that's how you aim. Yeah, it's got a little Kirby. Maybe I gotta use the Z and grab one of these. Maybe the A button? Ah, it is the A button. Okay, A button does that. Oh, it lets go automatically. Interesting. So there's no way to, like, continue to. Yeah, so that happens automatically. It's like on a timer. And you can aim. <laughs> Camera is really tight. I thought this is how you got up, like, places like that. Okay, there's, like, a timing to it. Interesting. And, like, I don't know if you saw 3D platformers like this. Like, I feel like everyone was going after that, uh... That Super Mario. This is clearly not that style. Reminds you of Glover. Even Glover was more like Super Mario 64 though. Whereas this is just like a little obstacle course. Like This looks like someone looked at a side scroller and was like, "Yeah, we could do something like that." I need to play Glover. I haven't I haven't looked at Glover in a very long time. Uh-oh. I was looking. I was holding forward and I was like, okay, I'll just go on. I was looking at something else. But then the camera turned. Ow. Mix. Uh, I want that crown. There we go. You can spit all of them out, or you can spit one at a time. Got a big ass head. Oh god, it's so big. Can I break these? No. Give me give me a crown. Whatever it is, it became I became awesome. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do there.
That, that gone? I guess I got it. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> I thought I was, uh, I thought I was controlling the tongue. Yeah. I think if I play this, I do want an N64 controller. Because I'm not fully in love with the way the brawler analog stick is. I gotta ask Mr. Radon what he uh, recommends. I didn't make it. I probably don't even need to do that. I could probably just go to this one and then... Oh, ah! I guess I can't do that. Not sure what, like... I guess it's a height difference? It's hard for me to tell why I couldn't do it. Oh, it rotated me into the door. God damn it. It's like you can't eat crowns, so maybe it's because the crown is so nearby. Oh god, I hit the wrong button. No. One day we'll do the all crown run. Yeah, I think it wanted me to do this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's like a, a learning curve to the controls that I appreciate. See, I don't think... If I wrap my tongue around this, can I expand it while I'm like gripping, gripping it? I gotta remember, you can hold R and you can stand in place. Cause like, I don't think I get enough... Yeah. Got rickety old minecarts. Video game classic. Yeah, maybe. But why would they put a pole there? Oh god. Yeah, I think I want like a tighter analog stick. This one just is so loose. I can't like run straight. Camera controls in this are really nutty. <laughs> like, just pretend there's always an invisible cameraman, but he's always in, like, the corner of a room or something. Yeah, my, my real controllers are just, like, completely messed up. I need to do some replacements on those. Especially if we're gonna do like, uh... so we do a, a series. I don't know if you've ever been here for one of them uh, called Party Planet, where we play party games. So like, we gotta do, we gotta, gotta play Rugrats. <laughs> the boss is up ahead. Lizard King will throw rocks at you when he gets angry.
I guess we have to play Mario Party as well. You're a Lizard King? Alright. You look like a gorilla. Oh, still had. Oh god, the frame rate. <laughs> oh yeah, Rugrat sucks. Well, I want to play the the party game, the the, the treasure hunt. Um, so cute, a cute character. First time. Then go bomb land. How do I get to the other stage? Oh, I have to hit down. What? Hello? I'm hitting up. Wait, hold on. Am I like... Is it... I thought maybe you had to do it for... Apparently you could do this with the C buttons. This controller, this character, this, this stage select is very confusing, as it's very unresponsive. <laughs> like, I'm hitting up. Up and upright. Right takes you... This is very strange. I'm gonna blame the controller. Ant land. Get tripped. But I think I'm, I don't. I, if I keep I, if I keep touch like uh, if I keep this up, I'm gonna keep playing it. Here they come! I want to go in the flame. Look at them. I love that they're all sprites. Ah. Out of here. Oh, these guys are big boys. Oh god. Charged me. Oh, this music so good. Can't believe we play a good game today. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm well aware of all the calling that video games would do. What's this? Where are we going? Ta-da! I wish I could extend my tongue after grabbing something. I keep hitting the wall, I think, which is like ending my jump. Ah, oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> now you gotta get them all, because it makes you feel good. Also, they're kind of fun to get. You big N64 head? It sounds like you're a big N64 head. Just give me those. Yeah, if I keep playing this, um, we'll be here all night. But this game's really good. It's on my list to do. Oh. 
<laughs> Whoops. I appreciate this little puzzle room design. The character design's pretty cute. <laughs> I don't know where this platform is anymore. Your cousin had one? Yeah, how do people get a, a N64 in Brazil? I would assume they had like crazy import tax. Like, I knew that Sega had a factory in Brazil with the tech toy. Where are we going? Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta play with the camera. I can tell where the thing was! Oh, the flames do hurt you. Ow! You're saying your cousin was ballin', is what you're saying. <laughs> well, good on him. And that uh, he let you play and all that. Damn it. It feels like I'm doing it blind. Yeah, I have to imagine in that area. Yeah, we played uh we played some Master System games. Uh we played Wonder Boy and I kinda talked about the Brazilian um market for games because uh, I had to play uh Monica. Like, I, I had to play some of the, uh, the reskins. <laughs> There's my platform. Yeah, there's... There's a few of those. Yep. Yeah, I had to, I had to play those. <laughs> when I played the Wonder Boy games. I just had to show them off. Be like, Hey, this is how uh, Brazil got these games. Uh, Tech Toy had the license. Uh-oh. I'm talking too much. I did the wrong thing. Yeah, man, that feels like I did that video a long time ago. <laughs> I like Wonder Boy. I did the whole series. Um, I did everything except um, Monster Lair. Like the reskins or Monster Boys in general? No. <laughs> yeah, I think there's some guy with a shotgun and that was like the the dragon form. It was really weird. You'll have to excuse me, I'm American, so I like I know of Monica's gang, but I do not know the characters of Monica's gang. <laughs> Chico Bento. That's a name. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna give up on this crown. So I guess these rooms are split path. Oh, I already came from here. The country boy redneck. Yeah, I need to trip that guy. See, I, that's the one thing I don't understand what direction I'm going to rotate in. Can I kill you? Oh. You just have to live your life tripped. Yeah, you have to... Oh my god. Take that. Alright, yeah, like I said, if I keep playing, I'm just gonna be here all night. Hey, the N64 works. I need to do a crop for games that look like this. 
I also need to check. I need to check if I'm losing information on the right. <laughs> but hey, that's uh, that's why we did the stream. I haven't streamed N64 in a long time. And my crop is based on Kirby 64. Let us... Go to the ending screen. Yeah, thank you for being here. I want to thank everyone for watching. That schedule is fake. Or old. It it shows last week. We're still recovering from Extra Life, which was a 24-hour charity stream. We're still doing that, by the way, if you want to donate. Uh, exclamation mark Extra Life. Uh, ra we raise money for the Nicholas Children's Hospital. Which, uh, I think they just got hit with a hurricane, oddly enough. Sorry, this is golf music, and it's, it's really soothing. <laughs> But yeah, I think tomorrow I do want to play Just It Radio if I have time, because that's a fun game. That's also like a 40 minute game. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorite things about the uh, the design is that I had a, originally it was like more of a braid and it slowly has morphed into this uh, snake tail. My original design, my, my bangs also look like snake fangs. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Actually, I can show you the whole... Let me see. No, nope, no, nope, that does that. Whoops. There you are. I don't think I set that hotkey. You can't see my feet, though. That's That's for private streams. Yeah, that's very Mega Man Legends. <laughs> I need to reset all my hotkeys. <laughs> no feet picks yet. I don't know why I went to this screen. The ending screen is just this screen with different music. Well, ooh, I'm tired. <laughs> that's also why I need to end stream. Yeah, we have a Discord, uh, exclamation mark Discord, if you want to join that. I'm on Twitter and co-host um, at Snakeman0 and uh, Snakeman on co-host. Uh, if you want to find the schedules and what we're, we're streaming, there it is. There's that link. Who is online? Who are we going to? Is Mr. Radon online? Yeah, Mr. Radon's online, so we're going to go raid Mr. Radon. Berserk, you're gonna love Mr. Radon. Mr. Radon, um, he is on a goal to 100% every N64 game. I just have to remember that Mr. Radon has uh, two R's. <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead and drop that raid. Go say hi to my friend, Mr. Radon. He likes soup, and he has big eyebrows. That's all you need to know. And I will see you guys maybe tomorrow for some Just Sit Radio. Um, next week, we'll have a proper schedule again where we will... Um, I think we're going to do that Valkyrie uh, visual novel and finish um, Robot Remote Control Dandy. I think we're going to go back and finish that. And then Christmas time, we're going to play Blue Stinger. Anyway. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of Valkyrie games. I have a whole playlist. I'll, I'll link that in the Discord for you. I think the, the, the command is going to go off on its own, so... Bye! <laughs>